asked, we are asked by the JFPL to recognize Delano Daly, footballer of Tivoli Gardens FC, who tragically lost his life in a motor vehicle accident with a moment of silence. Please stay standing. about the first game week one JPL match Jamaica Premier League Mount Pleasant versus Portmore in front of us we have the great um, Bomb Sports and Jampiel alongside Unseen Sports Jampiel first off what's your take yeah one team clearly had cup two competitive games before this game and one team right there still fresh off preseason that's it yeah um, Portmore just look like him locking chemistry still I'm um, still having some rough time connecting passes. Uh, same issues with last year. Barnett is a the hard-working striker, but uh, his playing hold up the ball is still difficult. I uh, see Akil Howard, uh, Akil Howard and Pinnock having issue containing Irving on the left wing. So it is work in progress for um, Portmore. It's clearly they are still have some growing pains to work out. While more pleasant look like them definitely have two competitive games under them belt. Them looking fresh and they're the team that are already familiar with each other. So. It's a well-deserved lead so far in the first half for more pleasant. And it looks like it's going to be a hard time for Portmore to come back in this one. Mom Sports, what's your take on the first half? Yeah, um, actually thought that it was a very good first half from Mount Pleasant. Um, I thought Portmore United really, really looked like they were playing within, it, within themselves. Um, for most of the first half, I thought they showed Mount Pleasant too much respect. Um, and and Mount Pleasant took advantage of that. They have a lot of good ball-playing midfielders. Um, personally, I think in terms of how Portmore United is playing, 
I think that they're lacking a number 10 in that role because they have three players who are predominantly defensive players within the midfield and so it's very difficult for them to have to, to, to have link up plays up front um, even when the ball comes to um, Barnett or, or um, Zimini it's difficult for them to find someone to pass the ball to because the other midfielders who are supporting are playing too deep I also think that Pokemon need to try and get Zane pin up more on the ball I think a few times when he's been on the ball he's been very good um, got past his marker quite a few times but just has not been on the ball in, in many occasions um, and I think in, in the end it was a, it's a, it's a well deserved 2-0 um, Two nil, two nil lead, you'd say from from Mount Pleasant. Um, I thought Anglin is playing really good in the midfield along with um, Sule Makala. And you know, Mount Pleasant is just has just been bossing this game, and it's difficult for me to see Portmore coming back into this game. But you know, who knows at home, second half. Um, I think Portmore will have the breeze in their favor this time, and you know, maybe they'll be able to come away with something from this game. But I, I don't really see them offering too much, too much, too much threatening um, situations. and. If they continue like this, um, I think the scoreline is going to be more. I believe that Portmore can get something out of the game if they, you know, change from a defensive play um, and try to go more attacking. Get Zane Pinnock more on the ball on the left side where he can 1v1, um, get that Irving and get the ball into the box to um, their centre forward. Um, the issue is though, um, the passing, the, the, the zones, they're not using the zones, their movements are too slow. And I think if they can, you know, speed up their movements, maybe put in on fresh players, um, something can be a fruit for them. What's your take on that? Yeah, I think I think if you have a change of person in the middle of the park, definitely a number 10. Like I say, I think they are playing without a genuine number 10. And I think that's one of the main problems because the number 10 normally provides the link between, you know, the front three and the midfield. And they are lacking, for that, lacking, lacking in that department at the moment. Um, yeah, bringing on fresh players could add some impetus to their play. Um, Mount Pleasant have a few players who look a little bit injured. Alex Marshall already come off who I thought was probably the more threatening player. He is he's off. Um, but like I said, I think they, I don't I don't know if they have if they have the players on their bench who can play in that position. But um, I, I would think that they start their best midfield and so far um, it's not living up to, to, to what was expected. That's the after report here. That we got this, it seemed that Portmore have some work to do. So expect a great second half. Let us see what happens. Reaction, reaction. Unseen sports here with Coach Ferguson. Um, second win for the club. Um, what's this win like for you now? Well, it's the first game of the season. Um, you definitely want to start with a win. It was an easy game. Um, Portmore, they provided us a lot of challenges. But credit must be given to the Mount Pleasant players. I think they played an excellent first half. In the second half, obviously, we know that they would have changed and come at us a little bit with a different shape. And I think we managed it well in the second half also. How is it like back to you know the club um, that you weren't? You're, you're at Portmore now, back to Mount Pleasant, seeing you off, off the field, making an um, adjustment, talking to players. How is it like the um, relationship? Well, relationships are, are always good. Um, when I left Mount Pleasant, I never left on any bad blood. Um, so the relationships were still intact. Um, I'm a professional. I try to do my job as best as possible. But I'm at Portmore or Mount Pleasant or Jamaica College. One thing is always true is that I try to be professional. And I think that's what I, I did throughout. Um, it was an easy decision in the end, but as I said, I'm, I'm back at Mount Pleasant and I'm comfortable there. And back at Mount Pleasant with a bang. Um, two two goals for, for Mount Pleasant beating um, Portmore today, um, setting the, the, the pace from early um, at the top of the league. Um, what's, what's the objective going forward for the next game? Um, definitely the objective for every game is to win. Um, it's always good when you have that momentum of winning. I think we had that um, for the last game and into this game. So once we can build that rhythm going forward, I think we'll be all right. Is there, a lot, is there a lot more work to be done? Because, you know, watching the game, like 50 to 60 minutes worth of intense play and then the, the other um, 40 minutes, 30 minutes into the game, um, you kind of drop in terms of intensity. Well, I think your question answered it. Um, <laughs> we came in rather at the back end of the preseason, so we never had enough time to really be level. But they're coming. Um, I think the season is nine months. 
So it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I think we'll be ready um, when it matters more. So it's all about building condition, but importantly, getting points on the board. A lot of football, CC, CC Cup, um, JPL, you want to win all. <laughs> Yeah, but um, for me, it's all about taking it a game at a time, as, as the cliche normally says. As I said, I think we have a good bunch of, of players. Um, they express that today. So for us as coaches, to try to see how we can get them better day by day, keep them disciplined and keep them in good condition to perform every week. Thank you very much, Mr. Ferguson. Continue to put in the good work. I'm looking forward for more players to reach the highest height in the Premier League. Yeah, man. Thanks, much. Bam Sports doing some good work. Coach <laughs> Austin here with Unseen Sports TV. First game, not the result. Um, what do you think going forward you should do? Yeah, we have things to work on in the first game. We have um, 38 games like, in the regular season, you know, so you know, it's a long way to go and a long way to fix things. So this is a good game to assess where we are against the finalists from last year. So, so, we'll build on this. A lot of young players with talent. Um, you see some glimpse of their magic in the game. Um, did not come off that well because the combination, maybe chemistry is, is not there, but positives going forward. Definitely, you know, um, you know, football, you know, is like that. Sometimes you bring the players together and they need to develop chemistry, you know. But also, players have to make better decisions also. Too. Sometimes there were easier passes to be made and they try to do, do things by themselves. So, I guess by playing more, we, we can fix these things. So I guess maybe in training there's a lot of work in terms of the objective in training and stuff and that stuff like that to work on um, to get them to understand how to play together and make the, the, the better pass or the better option. Definitely, you know, training is where you fix things, so we just have to go back and fix things. I think in the first half, um, you are more sitting back and, and allowing uh, more person to come at you. Second half, you try to go, go forward and it bear fruit. Yes, but that wasn't the plan. You know, that wasn't the plan. But you know, that's why I said I was really, really disappointed in the first half because you know we want to be up in their places and see. So we have to work on those things. Thank you very much, Austin. Continue to put in the good work and um hope you you get a better result in the next game. Thank you, no problem. Respect.